Hi, Leanne Donoghue Tamplin here. Today I'm interviewing Liesl Tesh. Uh, when Liesl was 19, she broke her back in a mountain bike accident. And since then, she's been a seven time Paralympian, including winning two gold medals. She's a motivational speaker. She's been a high school teacher for 25 years. And now she is currently the uh, member of a member of parliament for Gosford, New South Wales. So uh, in her lifetime, Liesl has overcome huge obstacles and achieved significant success. This is an inspirational interview and I hope you enjoy it. I'll come back at the end of the interview and share with you the strategies and skills that Liesl identifies that helped her get through and achieve the things that she has achieved. All right, talk to you again soon. I suppose university, <laughs> university was about deadlines. So I think probably the deadlines that came through university is actually starting to tick off those things. But then maybe for another one for me, when I crashed my bicycle and broke my back, it's about I'm actually going to walk out of here. And yeah, even right. that, like that success, I was in this walking frame thing that was taller than me and it took me about three hours and about 50 kilos of sweat to get from my bed to the door, which wasn't very far away. But in my head, I said success. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So maybe through my rehabilitation and overcoming that whole side of things is a bit of success chasing. How old, how old were you when you broke your back? 19. Right. So that's around yeah. the time that you're talking about in terms of going to university as well, I would think. Yeah. So it was a pretty formative time in my life, I suppose, when we're yeah, challenging who we are and working out who we are. Yeah. And you, uh, do you know why you decided, I'm going to walk out of here? What, was there something? Oh, there was no doubt in my mind I was going to walk out of there. there it wasn't. A, it was it just, just I'm was, going to walk out of here. It just yep. never happened any other way. That no wasn't other thought. It, there wasn't a choice. Yep. When you were 19 and you broke your back, you know there are a lot of people who who don't have the same, I guess, resilience is the term I want to use to describe yep. perhaps what pushed you through. Um, yep. So what do you think? Uh, you did differently or was a bit different about you that allowed you to stay focused on I'm going to walk out of here? Well, I think I grew up in a pretty alternative family and we lived fairly well outside the box and we could just do, we just did whatever we wanted to do. We grew up on the beach, we collected our own food, we, I don't know, we didn't live with a lot of limitations, I think. So I think I've just been given a world, I've grown up as a young person in a world of possibility. Yeah. And support. Yeah. So despite the alcoholic father and the fight between the parents, whatever, the, the kids have never been yeah. made to feel that they couldn't. Yes. I listened to Christina Keneally, who was the Premier of New South Wales yeah. a couple of weeks ago, the first female Premier, and she said, you know what, everything I did was the first. I had to dress as the first. I had to be mm -hmm. in communication as the first. And she said, you know what, and I just did it. Yeah. I could just think the advice to women is not be scared. Not yeah. be scared and set your goals as big as you possibly can because you know who ticks it all off at the end? You. It's your mm -hmm. life. Yeah. Make it as big as you possibly can and don't be scared. Yeah. 